Sometimes I used to ask myself this question, why does Nigerian government hate Igbo so much? Why does Nigerian government derive joy in destroying Igbo's properties? Why does Nigerian government dislike the Igbo's? What wrong have the Igbo's done to them? Igbo's struggle more than every other Nigeria to make sure he gained his daily bread. Wherever they are, they make sure that place looks beautiful. Upon that, why other people in Africa, in the world, recognize and pamper them? The Nigerian government and some few Nigerians has continued to cast as passion on them. I would like you to listen and pay attention the why Mazen Namde Kano is still in custody of the British government with the help of the Kelotomanic ruler of Nigeria, Dobet Palace Slaves of the West. Many years ago, as the genuine prophet he is, Mazen Namde Kano predicted the dilemma Aliko Dangote is facing today, which we know to be one, Dangote the richest man in Africa, two, Dangote, a very astute businessman. Three, Dangote, wet is organic ancestral. In conclusion, given a monopoly, an individual cannot claim to be better than others. Dangote is the epitome of state sponsored fraud. It is unimaginable how intelligent Nigerians sit idly and tolerate this nonsense. Please listen to this clip and make a sense of it all. Though you have right to believe whatever you want to believe when you might have finished watching the clip. Just like I personally have right to explain it the way it's supposed to be. I would like you to go ahead and watch the video and I will be coming back for analysis. Do not forget to share, like this video and subscribe to my channel. I despise Dangote. He is not the richest man in Africa. And I will tell you why. Because he was in a monopoly. In America, he will be in jail. I keep saying this. Every broadcaster come and I tell you. All of you were there. Let me tell you what the Fulanese have in store for you. Go into ordinary business. In every sphere of the economy, the Fulani dominate. This, their stranglehold is total. They own over 90% of the oil wells. The reason why they own this oil was is because people from the coastal region of Biafra land forgot who they are to allow the enemy to come in. That is why Ogoni land is polluted and can never be cleaned. That is why every year resource control, resource control with nothing happening because of the efficiency of divide and rule that they applied. Of course, the British applied. Let me tell you what they have done. Cement. Everybody must buy cement to build a house. Because of the way the white man taught us to build houses. Whereas before we used to use clay to build our houses to maintain the temperature inside at 26 or 27 degrees centigrade. And all of a sudden it's all breeze block. That is a, a conductor of heat. Let's put that to one side. For you to build a house. Let me tell you how clever the Fulanese are with their British advisors. Everybody needs shelter at some point. If you're successful in life, you're, going, you're bound to build a house. Even if you don't build, you're bound to rent a house. You're not going to sleep outside. The landlord that built the house or the owner of the house must have built it with the cement. You see how clever they are. The Fulanese talk to themselves, let us control the cement industry. How are they going to control it? By killing off and closing every other cement producer in the country. So that only one man is not going to produce the cement. He's going to import the powder and bag it somewhere in Lagos. That's how you have Dango Testament. Over the years. Some of you may have forgotten that my uncles used to work at Niger Cement Factory at Nkalago, built by Dr. Michael Oba. Niger Sem is called on Kalago Cement. Some of you have forgotten, but I'm sure if you're as old as I am, you remember BCC Lions of Bogo. Have you forgotten Lion Cement from Benue? BCC means Benue Cement Company. They used to have cement in Benue State. There was Elephant Cement, Ego Cement, Ashaka Cement, 
bore arm cement, even if Peter had his own cement. Now, let me, you people complain, they don't have any jobs, they are mistress, they have no jobs. But you people, the same Fulani that you people idiotically voted for, or clearly voted for, are the people that shut down all these factories. They want Fulani to control you. They gave the monopoly, the license to import cement to one single Fulani man. Thank God. That was why they put Ipeto in prison. EFCC called him and imprisoned him to stop him from selling cement. Only one Fulani, only one, mind you, the control of the oil. Only one Fulani man. Some of you are so stupid in Nigeria, I don't know the type of God that made some of you, but I will educate and I will enlighten you. If you listen to us without bias, believe you me, your life can never be the same again. Your brain will open. Let me give you an example of what is happening to you. Before now, there was nothing and I play Obasanjo is very stupid, I'm telling you. Obasanjo is an idiot. Obasanjo was the man that rubber stamped some of these things, I'm telling you right now this evening. Not only do Fulanis control the oil well, there were a lot of people, thousands of people working in the refineries. Let me tell you what they did next. They went into the refineries and they shut every refinery down. They went and built a refinery under Abacha in Equatorial Guinea. They went into a consortium with the British and built a refinery in Exeter, in England. Now, this crude oil that previously would have been refined in One, in Iguacha, Potakot refinery, in Wari, or to an extent, Kaduna, now we ship them abroad. And made every worker in that place useless, rendered them unemployed. Money wasn't coming in. I want people to understand when Lai Muhammad was saying, what holds us together is more than what you know, all that rubbish, nonsense. I want to tell you how full I need to go for your lives before your eyes, you kuro as you're watching talking about Nigeria, our flag, our team, uh, super egos, green eagles, cigarettes, talking about the full I we are stealing your lives away from you. Before your own eyes. Fulani was not content in owning the oil wells. They shut down the refineries where our parents were working. Where you could study petroleum engineering, graduate and find a job to feed your family. That sector was shut down. Remember they shut down the cement sector. It's very critical. Every day there's construction going on, isn't it? It's a very critical sector of the economy. Building raw materials, of course. Fulani, then got the one man. Now let me tell you what they did very cleverly. They came to the petrol. Not owning the oil well is not enough. Oh. <laughs> to tell you how much they hate you, they call you a Nigerian. Yes, you like, but they despise you. I'm going to ask you, they hate you. If not, why would they shut down all the cement factories? And allow one man to import, and this is produce, import. You will have limestone in Nkala, Goraka, in Ebo State, rotting away. Shut down. BCC in Nuboko, shut down. No, the record of taken it to repack, not to produce, not to manufacture cement, but import cement powder and repackage. That's all that they do. And they claim they love you. They claim they want to see Nigeria progress. I am, I am, I am doing this program this evening to let the whole world understand that there is no basis for unity in Nigeria. Because the whole thing is based on evil and wickedness. Why? Because full and people are not hardworking people. They can't wake up by five or four in the morning to go to work. I challenge anybody. All those factories that you see, if they cause in all those industrial things, I challenge any body anywhere in the world to tell me if a change of can wake up by four in the morning to go to work in a factory. I challenge, it's a challenge to everybody. Show me why. Now listen. They took over cement, which is very critical. They took over oil itself. The only way that people, private individuals share oil wells amongst themselves. That is not enough. Instead of moving that oil to the refinery to be refined, where we can find jobs to make kerosene available easily, to make um, uh, fuel available to run out. No, 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 not that at all. To tell you how evil they are. Those claiming and shouting one nature to tell you how satanic they are. 
they moved all those jobs abroad by shutting down all the refineries that you have in your Zoom country. And who is the church of NMPC? Fulani, in the Kiari family. Understand? Now, you see what they did? They now moved crude oil abroad to the refineries that they built with stolen money from the public coffers. It's not, it doesn't end there. Denying you jobs is not, it's not the end, it's not even their problem. Now, to bring that refined petrol back into Nigeria. <laughs> you will not pay subsidy again to bring back into the country what left the country for free. <laughs> hey, Only if black people can be seen. They took away cement sector, very critical in the building of an economy in the world. They took away oil, which is the only thing that you have, so to speak. They export it, they, they export it and they make money. They bring it back and you pay tax for it. Yet no refineries are working. That is how you have fuel subsidy. The meaning of fuel subsidy is that your refineries are not working. Not that they will not work if you turn them on, but because full and shut it down. Yet they may control your lives. Two sectors. We must all eat, isn't it? Everyone must feed every day. You have to eat something. There is no food you cook in our land without salt in it. No, no, no. no. You must have salt now. It's, it's normal. You cannot have tea in the morning without sugar. Dangote. Ordinary Indomie. Dangote. There was a guy I met in Netherlands. He went to bring Indomie into the zoo. I think he, he brought sample. They arrested him at the airport and put him in jail for trying to disrupt Dangote's stranglehold on the, should I say, the revenue industry, pasta and all those other rubbish that people eat. Only them. Only them. You cannot feed without contributing to full any domination of your life. In religion, those of you who are Muslims, full any is number one. Politics, they are number one. Army, they are number one. The police, they are number one. Everywhere, they are number one. Anytime you talk, unity, 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 they hit, they kill you, they arrest you, they shoot you, anything, they unity. Because they know what they're benefiting. The final game is to hand over our land and our forests to their brothers and sisters from the Sahel. And it's happening before our eyes. One shut down. Refinery. That, that could have employed millions of people. You watch her. Down, worry, down. Even Kaduna, who built Kaduna refineries, not Basanjo. They asked me, said he's he's diversifying the location of major industries. He was he wanted to please the full name masters that put him in power. They built Kaduna refinery. You have to move oil all the way from the south to the north. They can pipe oil to the north and everywhere else, but they cannot pipe clean water to your homes. They cannot pipe gas to your homes. And they claim, they tell you, we protect one Nigeria. We are all Nigerians. We are going to make progress. Progress how? For how many years? How can you make progress by shutting down industries that employ people, rendering them unemployed, and importing into the country finished items and products that you could have produced in your country? Are you listening to me?